everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So today's question is, will you be in a happy relationship with your person? Okay, so before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I am giving away free 24 hour upgrades. So get your reading within 24 hours. So for the first five people who contact me for a half hour love reading, your 24 hour upgrade will be free. It's $25 value. Okay, that will be free for the first five of you who contact me for one following this reading, okay? So you, to get in on that, just email me at lovetheoracledragon at gmail.com. So with this, will you be in a happy relationship with your person reading? We're going to do a real pick a deck this time, right? Um, so you have the decks that you can choose from. I will have pre-shuffled cards of um, the Love Oracle the Island Time Wellness, as well as the Wisdom of the Oracle. And then we will get um, advice using Healing with the Fairies. And if I didn't say so, there will be no extended um, this time for this one. However, thank you to my patrons and those of you who regularly get extended readings from me. I really appreciate you guys. Keep the channel going. And thanks to everybody who has subscribed. Welcome to my new subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. This is a pick a card reading channel. Um, so I invite you to join us uh, by subscribing and then hitting the bell to receive notifications when I upload my next video, okay? So it's a general reading, can't resonate for everyone. If you get into the reading and find it doesn't resonate, then just go ahead and look at the um, playlists that I have linked down below with a whole bunch, I think there's like hundreds literally of other pick a cards that you can watch and choose from to find a reading that resonates with you. So with that being said, guys, this is the 80s tarot. That's for group one. We've got the last unicorn tarot, that is group two and the movie tarot and that is group three so i'm just going to go ahead and randomly show you some cards so that you can like maybe help you decide which one you want to go with also random.org is linked down below use a true randomizer so that you can um and, and they say that <clears throat> so that you can pick it help you pick but they also say that the random I mean, it uses the same premise as um, tarot cards, right? Um, true random, which nothing is actually random. It's all law of assumption, law of attraction. So you can use that if you're stumped or you just want to try something different. Otherwise, use your whatever method works for you to pick, right? Um, and the timestamps are down below. And for group three, we've got group three. We've got the movie tarot. So that's what the movie tarot looks like. Okay. So pause the video if you need more time. Timestamps, again, are down below. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you. And we're going to start with group one. Welcome, group one. Thanks for tuning in to your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. All right. So the topic of this week's reading is, will you be in a happy relationship with your person? Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a five-card spread. So go ahead and think about your person. Angel Spirits and Guides for the Strongest Collective Energy of everyone who chose Group 1 for this public general reading. Will they be in a happy relationship with their person? Got some cards over here to the left, pre-shuffled, ready to go. Will Group 1 be in a relationship with their person? In a happy relationship, right? I have been guided to cut this week instead of taking flyers. So I won't be taking flyers. Just I'm going to shuffle a few more times and then <clears throat> um, and then cut. All right. Feels good. Will group one be in a happy relationship with their person? So we've got a card for your guys' combined energy at present. You know, what actions, if any, are being taken in the connection? We've got our obstacles and challenges. We've got the outcome here, which is the big message from spirit of what you need to know now. And if present energies remain the same going forward, what the outcome will be. And then we've got advice over here. 
All right, so at the back of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, which is happy days. Um, this could be a twin flame, higher level soulmate connection if that resonates with you. Always just take what resonates, forget what doesn't. It also can talk about um, a reunion taking place, a homecoming, or a celebration. So this is your guys' combined energy at present. Wow, we've got the world. So I would, I would be surprised if you guys were struggling in this connection at present, okay? Because the world card is the best card in the deck. And with that four of wands underneath, that tells me that the underlying energy is there is passion and there is closeness in this connection. There is a real readiness for a commitment between the two of you. Okay, so let's look at um, you know, actions that are being taken or will be taken. We've got the King of Pentacles. So with the world card, in terms of sign, uh, the world card is ruled by Saturn. Saturn rules Capricorn. We've also got Pentacles, which is Earth. That's also Capricorn. You or your person could be Capricorn or have it strong in the chart, <clears throat> but don't have to. And it shows like actions being taken. Somebody is sitting on their throne here. So if this is your masculine, the one that you're here for, and I feel like for a lot of you it is. He is um, kind of chilling on his throne. Um, this could be your committed partner or somebody that, um, I mean, because the question is, will this person and you be in a relationship, in a happy relationship? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, we've got you've got the world card. We've got the the four of wands underneath. We've got the king of pentacles. King of pentacles is a stand up guy. He is somebody that is um, yeah, he's a sociable guy, and uh, he's like the pillar of his community. But he's also somebody that likes mature, stable relationships where he supports his partner and his he likes to attract partners who support him back, materially as well as emotionally. Okay, he is somebody that is focused on like his home and his work and his money and he's probably done well for himself in life or has that potential so it can show a relationship that's based on security status or money but um it also shows an individual who is very solid and practical and a leader as well as a wise investor and he's wise he invests wisely you know in in himself and and in his partner he chooses you know the kind of partner that he wants to invest in and he's careful about you know who he chooses so um, but in terms of actions though it's like um, let's get a clarifying card for that king of pentacles for actions six of cups so this like um, I feel like some of you are in a relationship with this person. You just want to know if it's going to get happier or if it's going to stay happy. Um, yes, it is. And your person is probably going to talk to you about having children. Okay. Especially if this is, like I said, a committed partner or a spouse. If it's not a committed partner or a spouse, this could be somebody from your past or you remind each other from somebody from your past or childhood because you guys nurture each other's inner children. So what is he doing? We already saw um, the four of wands underneath the deck your person um like if you're in separation from this person this person's coming back okay if you guys are just dating or it's a newer connection this could be a soulmate from a past life um your person could be in terms of actions giving you a gift and it might be something you know sweet some you know small gesture it could be something like romantic like flowers but whatever he gives I'm just going to say he because it's easier, but apply the pronoun that applies for your situation. He gives it, you know, it's a very thoughtful gift and it means something to him, right? And it can be quite traditional, like, um, like flowers. Um, it can be a proposal for those who are farther along in the relationship. So it could be like an engagement ring. But um, this is the energy of this person giving you, you know, giving, giving you their heart. Um, making a sweet gesture, um, making you feel at home, which is very much in alignment with that King of Pentacles. It can mean moving in together. It can mean um, just more of sharing his life with you 
being more loyal and understanding towards you, being more cooperative and um, acknowledging more of your achievements, being more generous in general. So very, very positive energy here. So let's look at the obstacles and challenges in this connection. The hanged man. Okay, so for many of you, this has been in stagnation. This connection has been in stagnation. And maybe you're just trying to shift it out of that stagnation. You're wondering, like, when is this? Um, yeah, some of you are, you know, more uh, action-oriented. Or you're just more ready for this to progress. And... Um, and this person is, is is just chilling. So if that's the case, um, I do see that as a challenge um, with this hanged man. This is Piscean energy too as well. So um, so it's like maybe you feel like you're having to make sacrifices. Maybe your person has complained that they feel like they have to make a lot of sacrifices in their life or towards this connection. There's this energy of... Um, just kind of like hanging out, reflecting, taking their time because he is very careful and earth signs don't tend to be the fastest moving anyway. Um, then, uh, and because he's careful about who he invests his, his time in, he's taking his sweet time deciding, you know, the best, the best path forward. Okay. Or maybe this is you. And so this has created an obstacle here. So let's get the big message from spirit. What spirit wants you to know of present energies remain the same. What is going to happen in this connection? We've got the five of wands. So spirit is wanting to bring this to your attention because being forewarned is forearmed. In other words, like by knowing about the situation um, and obstacles and the potential outcome, you can do something about it. Because... Um, This does show like headed towards struggle so we've got all this good energy here and the signs are looking good for um, you guys to have a happy relationship there is there is this energy of struggle in the outcome and this can also show playful fighting I don't know if you guys like to do that but sometimes this is the energy of playful fighting that gets out of hand and somebody does or says something that hurts the other one's feelings so just be aware of that Somebody here could like to be right a little bit too much, and that creates um, an issue. You have to ask yourself with this card, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Okay? And maybe this is, if it's your person, that's something they're going to need to ask themselves. Okay? Um, again, this could be too that, you know, the reason this person's been putting off investing fully in this connection, if that's the case, is because they're under the hammer at work or in some other life area. So it could be, um, I am getting like somebody likes to like witty banter or play fight or something like that. And, um, it really stems from a place of wanting to be heard. So maybe your person can be a little bit childish in that way. Um, they play fight and they maybe bait you or something like that and it leads to an argument because what they really want is to number one be right in a lot of cases um, and number two to be heard and they need to find a, a new or better way to communicate if that's the case and if that resonates with you then um, you know spirit is saying to try to find a more constructive way to communicate okay but um, yeah it does show like a clash of wills here this is a changeable outcome though okay And it doesn't show who will win here, okay? Um, nobody should win anyway. When we're talking about a love and romantic relationship, there there shouldn't be a winner, right? Um, the, it should be an even score, right? Um, no, there, sh there should be no loser and, and no winner when we're talking about love. So it could just be a small argument or a one-time argument. Just keep your eyes and ears open to be careful like what is really being said when you guys are communicating, especially, you know, if you guys are playing 
um, and if this person seems like they have difficulty expressing themselves and how they feel and what they think in a direct way, then that could definitely lead to um, a battle of wills that is just not constructive to um, a love relationship or to happiness. Because again, this card asks, would you rather be happy or would you rather be right? So what advice do we got? Let's see. Ah, two of cups. Yeah, cooperate, you guys. Cooperate. This is a card of romantic love, partnership, proposal, and marriage, okay? So if you want this happy outcome, if you want to, um, you know, live happily ever after with your person, marry your person, or whatever it is that you're wanting from this relationship, I assume because the topic is, will you be in a happy relationship with your person, that you want a happy relationship with them, Spirit is saying you have the ingredients here for a happy relationship. There's just a little bit of pettiness and needing to put egos aside in order to make that happen, okay? Because you do love each other, have feelings for each other, there is real potential for happiness and to have this happy relationship. The only threat is the... Um, stagnation or um yeah it is the stagnation and and the i feel like this person might fear that you know they're going to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing so they'd rather do nothing or maybe you you get like that because we've got those you know when somebody feels threatened you've got the fight response the flight response and the freeze response so somebody could be frozen here because of feeling like um they don't have the diplomacy or you don't or the tact to um, talk about an important issue or to work through something. And so it's just like the only way, um, you know, past it is through it. But it does require putting egos aside and remembering to keep your eye on the prize of what you guys both want. Because um, to have a happy partnership, you guys have to, um, uh, you know, surrender the need to be right. Surrender the need to to win and uh, to understand that um, that you guys you know actually love each other <laughs> so it, you know and that should be your focus so let's look at your um, your Oracle cards here we get Emily Bronte uh, from the love Oracle which is interesting because it is a card uh, of true love, right? Um, it's about Wuthering Heights. It's a classic. It's a classic book. It's a classic movie. There have been a few movies made of this. Um, it is one that does have a combination of, you know, just being extremely romantic. Um, it's an extremely romantic relationship, but also like um, there's a lot of conflict in it as well. So Just see which one of these is most important for two to focus on. Yeah, I'm really being drawn to this last one. This last statement, it says, Love is like the wild rose briar, friendship like the holly tree, but which will bloom most constantly. So it's like, remember that, yeah, love is like a wild rose briar, right? Wild roses are wonderful. They're beautiful. They smell great, you know, but they have thorns. <laughs> um, and... Uh, and they're kind of, aren't they like seasonal and they're kind of precious. They're, um, they're a little just thornier and you want your, this is like advising you to make this relationship, you know, to the best of your ability, like the holly tree, right? Base it on friendship because it will bloom more constantly. Remember, this is somebody that you love. This is somebody that you like. This is not your adversary. So, um, don't let them treat you that way and don't you get drawn into any petty arguments or ego battles or clashes of will either. You can stand up for yourself and, um, you know, speak your mind, but do it diplomatically and with the understanding that you guys, that you guys love each other, that you guys care about each other and that it's more important to be happy than it is to be right, right? So, um, that's with that. And then we've got the palm tree here. So this does show that, um, this connection, I'm really focused on stability and security that, that very much goes along with King of Pentacles energy. So it's saying that this connection does have um, the ingredients to be a secure connection. And that security is important to your person. Uh, not only materially speaking, but um, their inner child has to feel secure, okay? And so if they feel threatened, um, whether you meant to do it or not, right? 
against maybe somebody's idea is witty banter or play wrestling, play fighting. And, you know, that that's fun for a while, but then if somebody gets their feelings hurt or something like that, or you just step on somebody's toe on a deeply held principle, and then, and then it's like derailed your guys' connection. So you want to avoid that as much as possible while still being yourself. It's like, it's just a matter of consideration for each other and feeling each other's energy, um, cooperating with one another, you know, as friends would is it's not just going to be a relationship like the happy relationship isn't just about the sex or ju just about the romance or anything it is also about the friendship so and making each other feel secure and again i can't stress it enough security is important in this connection uh, for most connections especially in this connection and then we've got from the um, wisdom of the oracle number 15 the message in a bottle so this is saying that you can expect um you can expect some good news you can expect um a, a letter or an email or a call or a text message and it could even come through somebody else as well somebody says something to you that they don't even know um, is giving you a message um, that you need to hear regarding this connection that that is important okay so stay open to whatever you learn stay open to whatever you receive but you are going to get some sort of a message here and and this card does you know assure us that you know only good will come from that and so um you're going to be getting signs and one of them is um, a message so likely a message from this person but um some sort of a message or guidance on this connection but all in all, is this going to be um, a happy partnership? It has the potential to be a happy partnership. But you guys have to work together and um, cooperate with one another. And so like weigh the pros and cons. So that you can have that happily ever after. Okay. So um, that's what I've got for you, group one. A little bit of a mixed bag, but um, it is what it is. Uh, but it is, it's got the potential, like I said. So if you liked the reading, um, hit the like button and subscribe. Comment down below if this is your reading and it sounds like you guys, you and your person. Just know you will be getting some sort of a message. And um, I feel like this person is keeping an eye on you. They do have a passion for you. There is still, though, this energy of, um, you know, some sort of, I feel like there's some sort of financial setback potential here or some sort of work uh, stress weighing on the connection as well or your person. But either way, um, I guess you'll find out when you get that message. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit the like button. There is no extended. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it does support the channel and keep it going. And if you'd like a private reading, my contact information is in the description box down below. And thanks for tuning in. Welcome group two. Thanks for tuning into your reading. And I hope you guys are doing well. So I've got your pre-shuffled oracle cards here. I thought we would start with these um, this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with them. The cards that we got for you to represent the question or to answer the question, you know, will you and your person be in a happy relationship we've got from the wisdom of the oracle go the distance number 47 from the love oracle we've got queen victoria and from island time wellness we've got blast from the past okay so i want to start with the um wisdom of the oracle the go, go the distance card and especially with the blast from the past this could be somebody from your past but not necessarily it could be like a past life relationship that's carrying forward into this one but it is letting us know that, um, you know, you really are being called into a harmonious relationship. One that's going to stand the test of time. So if you don't know this person, this relationship, I mean, it's looking really good that this is going to be um, a happy relationship. At the very least, one that stands the test of time for better or for worse. So regardless of how happy it is, you know, it's like this is spirit saying that you really want something that's going to stand the test of time. Okay. I feel like some of you could be parents. Um. Some of you could be older or more mature and um, you at the very least want to be like um, a guiding light or a, a caring and helpful nurturing presence or light for those around you. 
especially like those close to you, like friends and family. And so you're the type of person, you know, from that angle that wants somebody that um, you can rely on. Somebody that is going to be there for you through thick and thin, right? Through the ups and downs, through any strains and things like that. Some of you could have already been through, you know, uh, strains in life and in relationship that are still leaving their mark on you. Um, these things were good because they did stimulate new growth for you. Uh, I, this card does talk about regeneration and new growth. And, um, but it's also encouraging you to, to remember that, you know, happiness, harmony, uh, for you anyway, those who are drawn to this, there's this energy within you that is reminding you that, um, they're, you know, they're, it's never gonna be perfect. Um, it's not like there will never be any mistakes made or that, um, that there will never be challenges that you'll need to endure because there will be. And I think part of you is aware of that. Part of you is um, kind of like expecting that. And what we expect is what we get. So you are dedicated though to harmony and to unity and to coming into a happy relationship with your person. So you're wanting to, some of you could be musicians, this card also talks about like music, but metaphorically it's about writing a new song um, with your person, whether you know them or not. Like you want this to be different from past relationships or from the past. You want you guys to um, to get together and make basically, you know, as corny as it is, beautiful music together. You want to listen to your heart and you're starting to listen to your heart more, which is good. Okay. So with the Queen Victoria card, you can see, you know, family represented here. So some of you... Um, to you, a happy family represents like a big family, a traditional relationship, marriage, children, um, but not for all of you necessarily. It is a sense though of commitment, of having a home with somebody that you're desiring. That's what happiness equals to a lot of you, to the majority of you really. And the one that we're drawn to here is the diamond which represents uh, a commitment on this card so it says no girl no girl would go to the altar if she knew all okay <laughs> so um, I feel like if you're a masculine watching you represent the uh, minority of those who watch my channel but thank you hello <laughs> thanks for tuning in um, that uh, you probably feel like your appetites are um, a little bit rugged sometimes in the bedroom so to speak okay you might um, like to try new things um, you might just have like um, a very high you know sex drive or um, you're just a very passionate lover there's something here about I mean like the statement says no girl would go to the altar if she knew all this is somebody that I mean it's referring to you know marital relations right so if you're a masculine it's it's like um, just this energy of feeling that um, <laughs> maybe you want to tie her down or get a commitment out of her before you reveal the true freak that you are okay um, and if you're a feminine watching then this could be your, your masculine their feelings their thoughts on the situation or um, you know if you don't think that they are like this then it is this energy of um, you know, maybe some of you are less experienced than your person that you want to be in a happy relationship with. Or even if you are as experienced, maybe you are a little bit hesitant thinking that, like, what's it going to be like in the bedroom, especially if you've never had sex with this person. Um, also, uh, are you guys really going to be compatible or are you going to be compatible for the long haul? Okay. So it's like some of you even just expect this person <laughs> to be um, a little bit more wild in there than... Um, than what they're showing you and so it's like there's this question mark around um around that so it's almost this energy of um wanting to be in a happy relationship with this person even if it means that ignorance is bliss and then you guys get in there into the relationship and into the bedroom and just figure it out from there with the blast from the past card the um you know the main statement that i'm drawn to here is nostalgia so whether this is somebody from your past or not, um, this card talks about nostalgia. So somebody here, um, 
is very nostalgic. I mean, this is a, a traditional old fashioned relationship, right? Not all of the um, people on these cards are, are from the 1800s. Um, so this does show that I feel like if this is, is your, if this is your reading, the person I'm reading for, um, really does have like a nostalgia for days gone by, is more traditional, does want a traditional kind of family, um, does want a you know committed relationship. You do want to marry this person. You want a committed relationship. You want a relationship that will stand the test of time. You want a true union, you know, where the masculine acts like the masculine and the feminine acts like the feminine, right? Um, you're into those things. You're into rules, regardless of sex. This is about energy. So this is... Um, basically what you're wanting you're not expecting it to be perfect you know there will be ups and downs maybe you know some things about yourself that you anticipate will be ups and downs or create ups and downs when we already talked about you know potential issues of some with some kind um in in the bedroom because i feel like um like one of you is um it just has different interests right so i feel like for a lot of you your partner is um having different interests than you in, in the sense of like maybe I get like your partner is very smart and they might be kind of nerdy or in a profession like that um, maybe they like to read a lot or are very introverted or very to themselves um, or just have like particular interests um, that are different from yours whereas I feel like whoever's watching is somebody that's already been around the block once or twice um, maybe even has been married before or has a child from a previous relationship um, might be a little bit older either way uh, or more mature so uh, that's that's coming through too that um, I don't know why that's coming through as well again here so um, let's put these off to the side and let's get some cards so go ahead and think about your person the one that you want to know will you be in a happy relationship with them angel spirits and guides for everyone who's tuned in for this reading will they be in a happy relationship with their person please yeah i guess i'm just going with the there's differences between you guys so you want somebody that's going to uh stand the test of time with you like traditionally let's say that you were masculine here for a feminine um the female wouldn't have been that educated i don't even know if they taught them to read back in queen victoria's age but she did right she was the queen but also she was ahead of her time she was a feminist an early very early feminist in that sense so in other words she had her interests she was smart um and so i feel like um that could be somebody is anticipating we've got the nine of cups anticipating that um maybe your future partner the, the one that you're here for isn't going to be 100 percent agreeable with the way that you are and vice versa but then you know that's always an issue in most relationships anyway so but it's coming through strongly so it must be a point that needs to be made and so right now at present this connection it's like you guys feel that you are each other's wish fulfillment one or both of you could have strong water in your chart cancer scorpio pisces but um, either way, with the Nine of Cups here, it does show um, joviality. That's what I'm kidding. Um, maybe you like to drink. Maybe you like to imbibe, um, hang out with friends. Uh, you like your abundance. You could be doing very well for yourself, um, you know, financially, but as well as in terms of like your relationships, your friendships. Uh, this is somebody that you could have met through a friendship group. Um, it also shows this desire to um, make somebody's wish come true. You want to have your own wishes come true with this person. You want to marry them. You want to settle down with them. You want to be their partner. You want to be happy with them. Um, you want a relationship that stands the test of time. You want material abundance. You want good health. You want good health for the relationship. So it's a, if it's ever been um, broken or in any ways toxic, um, you're wanting it to be healthy in your person. You know they're wanting that as well because that's your combined energy so what actions um will be taken in this relationship wow we've got the ten of cups coming out so we're seeing a progression from where you guys are now which is pretty close to complete and total emotional fulfillment um if you guys aren't together i'd be surprised because 
you guys definitely love one another. Uh, we also got the Ten of Cups, which shows, you know, what actions can can you take or what actions will be taken. You guys will end up having this happy family together. So this answers the question, will you be in a happy relationship with your person? We've got the Ten of Cups. There's no doubt about it. You're absolutely going to have everything that you want with this person. Total and total and complete emotional fulfillment. So congratulations, Group 2. Um, group 2 for the win again. So family contentment, total love and support. These also came out. We've got the Strength card. We've got the Star card. And we've got the Six of Wands. So these are all extremely positive cards. So what actions can you take? Uh, well, marry your person. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Um, seriously, though, take those, those steps towards um, healing any rifts in the connection, towards getting back on the same page. Um, you know, with water energy, it does tell us that whatever's going to happen is going to happen pretty naturally. But it is going to require courage on your part, courage on the part of the masculine. Um, the masculine could be assessing the situation to see if, again, if this is right for them, if your differences are going to be too great. I don't, I think the masculine knows that the differences are there, but does not expect the differences to be a deal breaker. Okay. But this is a traditional masculine, whether that's you I'm talking to, because we all have masculine and feminine within us, or whether it's the person you're here for. And so they're looking at it. And so it's like, Maybe they're stalling a little bit, but they're just kind of like figuring out their own expectations for this connection. And then with that, um, they become more confident, okay? Uh, so they're getting ready a and you're being guided to get ready as well. Um, so with that, with that strength card and what does getting ready look like for you, the viewer, self-love, practicing self-love taking care of yourselves, doing daily affirmations, telling yourself that you love yourself. It's not arrogance, it's, easy, it's essential, right? And then practicing unconditional love on the people around you, your pets, um, yourself, doing things that um, inspire self-respect for yourself because the way that you treat yourself is the way your partner is going to treat you. So this is good practice. Having courage, okay? Courage to stay balanced between your masculine and your feminine side within yourself. Courage to be vulnerable when it's necessary. And courage to own your power as well. You're powerful. A lot of people are taught to be disempowered and think that if you, you act powerfully that um, you're putting yourself at risk or if you're being bold that that's going to get you in trouble somehow. It doesn't have to be that way. Yeah, you're definitely being asked to heal from any painful past or painful thinking, negative thoughts, and you know, meditate on what you want and meditate on and act in ways that inspire self love and courage, okay, and self respect. This leads to renewal that you're coming out of a depression, you're coming out of a time when maybe you were wearing a mask, your person, if they were the ones wearing a mask or being arrogant, if they were ignoring you, if you were ignoring them. Um, Spirit is saying have the courage to, to break that cycle, okay? And allow it to be broken so that you can have a, a renewal in the connection. And this is about um, getting inner clarity on the fact that you hope, hope for what you want. You deserve to have what you want. You know, if it seems like it would take a miracle for you to have a happy, happily ever after with this person, believe it, start believing in miracles then, okay? Um, intend for this to work some of you could be working um, in the spotlight as well or have all the attention on you but I think that um, yeah it just has to do with this relationship being a successful one with that six of wands it's a card of victory recognition good and good news it's a card of success this will be a successfully happy relationship but the question is like what what actions are going to be taken um, we're just reading this as a general, especially for those that um, have felt let down in love in the past. Those of you who have been suffering with depression or disappointment, you're, you're asked to turn that frown upside down and expect the best for yourself. You're getting an emotional new beginning with this person and it is going to be wonderful. 
So allow yourself to be supported by those who love you. Allow yourself to feel like the victor and not the victim. Um, just know that whatever choice you need to make in love or whatever choice they need to make in love is going to be made for the best and for the betterment of this connection. And that this is a deep love that the two of you share as well. Just know that. Know that this is a deep love that the two of you share. And that the choice that will be made here, if there's one to be made, will be um, the right choice. And that you guys are stronger and more victorious together. You're a team. It's beautiful. It's the balance of yin and yang. And it is healing after hardship. So, what, what are the obstacles and challenges going to be in this connection, Spirit? What obstacles and challenges does Group 2 need to know about this connection that affects the question? Will they be in a happy relationship with their person? What, what would challenge them being in a happy relationship with the person they came to the reading for? Queen of Swords. So one of you could be an air sign, Aquarius, Leaper, or Gemini. If not, this could be another person who fits that description. So Queen of Swords is kind of like the King of Swords. She's very pragmatic. She's a, she has um, natural organizational skills. Um, she's, she's a very proud person. And she's pride, you know, she takes pride in being able to turn you know, to make order out of chaos. Um, but she's also very demanding, can be very stubborn. She demands loyalty. She's, um, could be somebody that works in like the law, uh, business, administration, corporation, stuff like that. Okay. Can be a bit, um, you know, domineering or threatening when she's pissed off. So, Take it if it resonates, if it's you, um, if it's, it could be your person or it could be somebody else, but I'm gonna get a clarifying card on that. This is um, somebody that either you guys know as a couple now or you might know in the future that could challenge the relationship. And if it's not an actual person, then it'll be these attitudes or this way of that I just described this Queen of Swords to be. That would challenge it. So being overly self-sufficient, uh, just remember to uh, hyper independence is a form of um, I mean it's a trauma response it's a form of trauma response I'm not a therapist as you guys who regularly watch me know and have heard me say but I mean it is so watching being overly independent and um, you can be honest with with one another but you don't need to be sharp or rude about it you don't need to be cold about it, okay? So those are the general meanings of what the challenges will be. But I want to get an extra card to clarify Queen of Swords. Okay. Yeah, the Queen of... Okay, so this is um, some of you. This is talking to some of you. I don't feel like this is an outside person. You're going to be the wife in the situation or the husband because the Empress is the spouse of the deck, one of them, right? Embodying the more feminine energies. Um... So you want to embrace like this is about, especially with the strength card being right here, balancing your, your animalistic side, your ego with your, um, with your God self or, and your human side, right? Uh, so balancing um, your emotions with your logic in such a way that you're not leaning too much into your masculine energy or into this queen of swords energy because even though she's a female she is masculine energy and she can be um like the the egotistical side of the masculine energy you want to embrace your your inner empress okay um and if you're the masculine watching you want to help your person to embrace their inner empress um it also can indicate difficulties conceiving i hope that's not the case but i have to say it because i'm getting that 
Uh, if that's absolutely um, a trigger for you, I apologize. Affirm the opposite of that. We create our reality. That it, affirm that it's easy for you to conceive if that's what you want. But there's that. And then it's just about feeling like letting the, the feminine uh, energy exist within the connection without, again, anybody becoming too cold, too harsh in their communication, too standoffish, too controlling, or anything like that. Those will be challenges in the connection. And it looks like it's related to the feminine here and her needing to be more in her um, creative, abundant, fertile soil right being in her her mother like energy regardless if she's a mother or not because that's going to be her role in the relationship traditional kind of relationship here so keeping her keeping mama happy keeps the whole house happy right so that's the, that's the challenge basically essentially there and with uh, the outcome what is the outcome going to be spirit so this is more than just an outcome um, this is the larger message of, of the whole reading, what spirit wants you to know, okay? So this is as of present energies, what spirit wants you to know. There's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. So this is meant to help you walk the path. And then this is letting you know where you're at right now and where present energies are leading you. So let's go ahead and get that. What is the outcome going to be, spirit? What do you want group two to know about their person, who they're going to have a happy relationship with? Two, I just wanted one. We've got the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles for the outcome. All right. So the masculine could be uh, undergoing and still healing from some sort of heartbreak, or he could actually suffer with, um, like, uh, you know, he could be divorced. He could be suffering or still, like, reeling from that loss or he could be dealing with some sort of um, health issue which I'm loathe to say because I don't like to say that on my channel but uh, also getting um, you know potential depression which is what I what which is what I mentioned earlier so that's coming out but with him being here in the outcome it's actually very positive those are just asides because I think that you should know this is why that's so important to this person that whoever they end up with is going to be somebody that will be with them through thick and thin because they know that they have some baggage and they're just a little, you know, a concern. They, they want to know that whoever they're with is going to be accepting of their child if they have a child from a previous relationship or if they have health issues, let's say, or do they suffer with depression or just fill in the blank, whatever kind of um, damage that they think that they have, whether they have it or not, they want to make sure that that person is going to stick with them through thick and thin, which, you know, is understandable. So we're learning more about your person for the majority of you, or this could even be you, okay? This is this is somebody that could actually be wealthy. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a generous individual. I mean, he's gonna be somebody that's stable. He's not gonna be like, um, <laughs> he's not going to be like terribly exciting and fun maybe or this relationship if it's talking about this relationship is if this is the combined energy which i, I feel like this is more describing the masculine um he's going to be more uh resourceful and uh solid and practical and a wise investor of his time and energy so that's not to say he's not going to be social or fun or anything like that i think he will be but he's just not going to be like a king of a king of wands let's say right or king of cups necessarily even if he is water sign so this is um, your guys' relationship going forward in the future. So it's going to be like kind of like um, Prince Albert to Queen Victoria. Actually, it's interesting, huh? Because Prince Albert is a Virgo or was a Virgo and Queen Victoria was a Gemini. And we've got um, Earth and uh, Earth and Air. It's interesting. So if you feel drawn to, you could look into their relationship um, to get some hints and tips about your future relationship. They were the loves of each other's lives, um, but they, they were different and they had their challenges. Um, from what I understand and I kind of like yeah I understand a lot about that because I looked into it because I love them but anyway back to the point at hand the outcome is positive okay what is the outcome between the two of you this is a yummy outcome actually this is somebody that knows how to romance you knows how to do those things that you want them to do so um, especially sensually speaking when it comes to like the nicer things in life a uh, good food good sex this is a sensual person very sensual. 
this is um he's definitely the marrying kind this is a wonderful opportunity so not to put you off by saying oh he's not going to be all that you know he's not going to be swashbuckling or something he's not going to be a uh, mission impossible man or you know i don't know what you would expect um he is definitely the marrying kind right your parents will approve and uh but i think you're, you're definitely gonna approve as well he's yummy he's yummy <gasps> i have nothing against virgo man if this is a virgo okay um I think they're yummy they're and just to give you an example they they're enjoyable very smart so um, for some of you this person could actually be like a genius but anyway that's what we've got here for you guys so let's get you some advice the outcome is yummy merry and kind will this will you be in a happy relationship with your person definitely um, ex very, very happy. I love this reading. I wish that, uh, somebody else had done it so I could have picked it, but, um, <laughs> a little late now. Um, but this is what my viewers need to hear and I'm happy for you guys. Happy for you guys. So let's get you guys, um, a card from Healing with the Fairies decks for advice. Those who have chosen group two advice does spirit have for group two regarding this reading please and their person that they're going to be happily married with or yeah i'm, I'm gonna say married you're gonna marry this person unless you're really against marriage dreams coming true came out unless you're really against marriage and you just want like a commitment without the paper um you're gonna marry this person and if and if you don't believe in marriage you're gonna commit with this person to such an extent that it's gonna feel just like an old-fashioned traditional marriage your dreams are coming true for the majority are watching this this is your dream like you are the marrying kind and so is your person and if they're not now they will soon be but I see them as already showing up as um, the marrying kind for sure like like they've had practice I feel like maybe they've been in a committed deep relationship before married before or they've just really um, given this a lot of thought and just they're very bright and they catch on quickly okay so we've got dreams coming true and they know what they want um, I'm going to read from the book on this. So if you don't like that part, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Leave me a comment. But this is, um, the card says, Your heart's desires are manifesting into reality. The fairies ask you to hold fast to your faith and expect positive outcomes. Good news. <laughs> Good news. Good news. Uh, the life you've been dreaming of is becoming a reality for you. Your affirmations, prayers, visualizations, and other positive practices have brought your dreams to fruition. Now the fairies ask you to keep the faith. At this moment, you may be seeing glimmers of your dreams coming true. Yeah, I feel like some of you already know. You're already dating this person, or you already know that you guys are in love. I mean, this, it doesn't feel like um, anything less than that, really. This feels um, like the card says. You, you're probably seeing or going to start seeing glimmers of this dream coming true. And these dreams are transitioning from thought form to etheric form. And then they're solidifying in, into material form. To make this transition successful and complete, your continued faith and prayers are needed. Ask God, your God self, the universe, whatever you want to call it. You know, for me, it's God self. Ask God self and the fairies to help you release, help to release you of any fears that could cause you to sabotage your success. Know that you deserve this new abundance and that it will bring much joy to you and those in your life affirmation this is an affirmation you guys can say I would recommend that you say them um, if this is what you want you know, my heart is filled with gratitude and excitement knowing that wonderful people and situations surround me now okay and you can also like if you're actively manifesting this person because I've been talking about manifestation more on my channel then you can um, make that uh, a daily affirmation also you can you can affirm that you are a master manifester we're all manifesting unconsciously all the time anyway so you might as well be conscious and get what you want your desires are manifesting into reality so you're just being you know you can um affirm that my desires are manifesting into reality my desire for fill in the blank that this person's name is manifesting into reality okay and then hold fast to that faith and expect positive outcomes okay because you deserve it guys that's what i've got for you thank you for tuning in if you'd like a private reading my contact information is down below um please subscribe if you haven't already it does support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything there is no extended for this if this is um someone that 
But if this reading resonates with you, um, please leave me a comment down below. I'd love to read it. And if you did like it, I'd love a like from you as well. And I will talk to you guys next time. Welcome group three. Thanks for tuning into your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's go ahead and think about your person, the one you came to the reading for. You've got your cards pre-shuffled to the side here. The question today is, will you be in a happy relationship with your person? Okay. Will group three be in a happy relationship with their person? So to start off with, we're going to go over the um, Oracle cards because that's what I feel drawn to do. And the one that I'm really wanting to go over here is the Come to the Edge card. This is um, the Wisdom of the Oracle. Number 36, so 3, 6, or 9 could be, um, you know, <clears throat> important to this connection for some reason. But basically, this is a um, card talking about wanting you to come to the edge. Um, it's, you know, a card that talks about true intimacy and how scary that can be and how when somebody here is hiding, um, your person wants you to know that you are protected and that, um, you know, if there's some sort of a risk that you need to take regarding this connection, your person is saying that it is safe for you to come to the edge and take that leap of faith, okay? Um, the most important thing to do, bottom line, either way, is that you speak up because, um, you know, your your voice matters. So some of you have blocked throat chakras. I can certainly relate to that. It's important to be able to say what you need to say. And, you know, um, sometimes just letting your thoughts hit the air through saying it um, is what heals the situation. So it's just important that you speak up when you feel the need to speak up. Do not be repressing things that you feel strongly that you need to say. And, you know, say your piece. You know, this is um, definitely not a time to play things safe in this connection. For a lot of you, this is um, a time to take, like I said, a leap of faith. And that if you do that, you will be rewarded. You'll be glad that you did. And so um, whether this is a relating to you your person or other life areas as well take it how it resonates and you know energy can be flip-flopped and vice versa but i feel like a lot of you this is what your person is um you know saying or that this is what spirit wants you to know that in order to have this happy relationship with your person say what you need to say uh allow yourself to be seen to be really seen you deserve that um, intimacy is scary, but it does require you to be vulnerable enough to be seen and to show some of what you've been hiding, to say what you've been hiding, perhaps. Um, and if you're very open, this could be saying that your person is going to say what they need to say and stop hiding. Okay, there is this need, though, for you both to see each other. And it's not a time to play any kind of games. It is a time to take um, a leap of faith, come to the edge. And it will be re well rewarded if you, um, if you leap, you know, they will catch you. Something really good will come out of the situation if you take that leap of faith okay i feel like it is your person kind of like i think you guys are similar in a sense that your person is coming across as somebody that um likes to create win-win situations um they could have a job where they're you know always having to weigh the pros and cons of situations or the the checks and balances um or they do this in their their professional life there's somebody that likes to try and, like I said, create win-win situations. And they're, at least at present, trying to look at both sides of any argument between the two of you or both sides of this relationship. Um, and, and I feel like you are somebody that, you're definitely more spiritual than your person. Um, I think you <clears throat> bring light into this person's life. That you have a way of inspiring devotion in this person. Um even if you don't feel like you're doing anything specific to do that, it's just your energy. Uh, a lot of you, you know, provide support and strength to this person or you did in the past where, or you will in the future because anything I say can apply to the future as well. If it doesn't resonate, resonate now, it can resonate in the future. But you are somebody that has this ability to provide support and strength in times of crisis to your person and that you do it out of love without an expectation of anything, getting anything in return, without the expectation of a reward, okay? So let's get into it. Oh, one card already fell out. <laughs> Two cards already fell out. We'll take them. So what are these? Let's get a couple more cards. I, I know what I want each card to mean, so we'll just go ahead and go with it. 
So this is going to be like your combined energy at present. This is going to be what actions can or will be taken. Next will be obstacles and challenges to this connection, outcome, and advice. <clears throat> Okay, and we've got an extra card coming out as well. And if I feel guided to read it in reversal, well, I will. I read the cards intuitively. Actually, the upright card means reversal as well. You just need to know when to take it as reverse and when not to. So just give me a second here. So, wow. All right. So at present, the present energy between the two of you, we've got the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is saying that, you know, this is a traditional kind of relationship. Also, there could be a power dynamic difference. This could be uh, your boss, your teacher, or um, if not technically that, there is this energy of somebody being either older. Some of you, this could be your therapist because the Sigmund Freud card came out from the Love Oracle. Um, that's actually not unheard of. I did have a private reading years ago where that was the case, but... Um, <laughs> I'm not going to get into all that. It's just to say that there is a differential in terms of power in the connection. So if whether that's that one is older than the other, um, noticeably older, or, um, you know, somebody is just like above each other or above the other one, like status wise. What I'm really getting from the Hierophant card is conformity. So I feel like whatever you guys are doing in the present, you're just kind of going with the flow of like, you're conforming to what your expectations are. So if you guys work together, go to school together, or um, even if you're married or married to other people, um, if there's a father figure that's impacting the connection, it's like you're just kind of conforming to expectations right now with that Hierophant, both of you are. For whatever situation you're in, you're doing like what's right or traditional or what's expected of you, whether it's talking about religion or family expectations or societal expectations. Um, and so let's look at what actions will or can be taken. We've got the Ten of Cups. So it's a really beautiful card to come out in a love reading. It's very validating because it does show the love that exists between the two of you. It is a card of um, family contentment, total love and support. So, um, in terms of what actions can be taken, you know, some of you need to heal your relationship with your father or a father figure or other family members that um, have some sort of authority over you because it's impacting your relationship. Um, even if you, like, say there are toxic family members that you're better off remaining at a distance from, you're still being guided to, you know, send them love from a distance and more importantly, send love to yourself and, and provide yourself with the support that you would have wanted from them because this will be incredibly healing for you. And the more healed you are, the more able you are to receive love and give it, which benefits relationships. Yeah, I'm definitely getting something to do with family here. Um, it's like making peace or having a happy family or loving or sending love to a family member, okay? So um, your person could be doing this to heal in order to be ready for this relationship, or you could be doing that. Uh, you know, if, if you know you got these kind of family issues, then you know it's for you, right? Um, otherwise, if you are married to this person or in a relationship with this person, this is saying to be more loving and supportive for it towards each other because you do love each other. And there is this potential for lasting love with the Ten of Cups. So what actions can you take or will be taken? Um, Ten of Cups, loving one another, being supportive to one another. We've got the double card. Somebody you could here could be a Capricorn. We've also got Taurus there. Some other um, energies I'll get into as I'm drawn to. But with the Devil card, it does show some sort of um, feeling bound or restricted. I'm 
also getting some sort of envy as well somebody here could be um, envious like if your person is involved in another relationship or you are or if there is um, there could even be family members that are envious that get in the way of this connection or have in the past or have that potential in the future but bottom line what I'm mainly getting with that card is envy um, if nothing else <clears throat> it's talking about um, that somebody here is the jealous type okay and then that could be uh like your person is the jealous type and, and and especially if you're with somebody else or they think that you are if they think that you're happier without them they're happy for you but they're also jealous of that okay so let's look at the next card which is the magician so this is um obstacles so when we see the magician and he did want to come out in reverse so we're going to go ahead and um get a clarifying card on that because that is an obstacle I am getting that this person wants um, a new cycle or you both want a new cycle you guys is you, your energy is so similar the only thing that I can say for sure is that you guys love each other but there is a similarity to your energy that makes it hard to say especially since I'm reading for thousands of people like who is doing what in the situation, but let's clarify um, the magician as obstacle spirit. Okay. Spirit is saying that this magician, you know, is missing something that they don't have. There could have been a painful ending in this connection or they're going through some sort of an ending because they were not getting their wish fulfillment so it's like this person is trying to manifest a new beginning in this connection like I said because they're not satisfied or happy where they're at Yeah, I think your person has also, like I said before, felt trapped. So they're wrapping something up, the world card here at the back of the deck. Some sort of a cycle, some sort of a journey they've been on. They could even be returning after traveling or a journey that they've been on, whether it's a spiritual journey or some journey for work or with regard to family or relationships. That is a wrapping up. And there's still like some difficulties they need to move past, okay? In their mind, this is over. Whatever it is that... Um, they're wrapping up in order to have a new beginning with you is over in their mind, okay? And how has caused them pain? Um, you know, it had the potential to really scatter their energy and make them feel like, you know, all the effort they put into whatever it was, was wasted effort and that it had full unfulfilled potential. And that's possible. But I am seeing them coming out of that really ready to start a new cycle, really focusing their creat creativity on, um, taking inspired action as they're guided to take it with that magician energy because they're looking to their 10 of cups. They could have gotten very close to the 10 of cups, even to the point of nine of cups, with another relationship or in another situation. But it ultimately um, ended up feeling too stifling and not the perfect fit or not the right fit or they were dealing with a very jealous person. I'm getting, it was just more or less spirit is saying that it was to do with um, a relationship that just stagnated or a situation that just stagnated. And so your person is coming out of this energy of feeling stuck, but they feel optimistic about doing that. And even though it's going to be difficult for them to get unstuck and they're feeling guarded, they are going to move towards, um, you know, completion of this cycle. They're taking action towards completion of this cycle. But these are the obstacles that you're facing here with this person. This person could be also guarded towards you, trying to um, maintain boundaries, maybe wearing a bit of a mask towards you because they're trying to keep their boundaries up while they finish something hard that they're doing, okay? But, you know, with, um, with the King of Cups, yeah, this is the, this is the outcome. This is an extremely positive outcome for you guys. So even though your reading is a bit more complicated and a little different from the, from the first two, it still looks like you guys are really leaning towards having a happy relationship with this person. Because this is a card of somebody who is emotionally mature. It could be a water sign or have it strong in their chart. And like I said, it could be older than you as well. So 
So with the um, advice being the Ace of Pentacles, and I often want to call him the, um, or think of him as the King of Pentacles for some reason. Some of you could be dealing with somebody with strong earth in their chart. But um, because it's got an individual on the card, so it looks like a court card, but it's actually Ace. Your advice is to, you know, focus on your own stability to um, get the grounds fertile for the planting of this relationship seed, right? Get yourself together in, your, in terms of money, work, home, practi practical things like that. Um, some of you could even be getting an influx of an inflow of cash, money, a, a new job, or something along those lines, which will help to benefit. And if you need to do that, Spirit is encouraging you to do that because that will help the outcome, which is extremely positive. So this is a very charming and intelligent person. If this is representing your person, he's very gracious. He could be even like an artist, or he just has something about him that's a bit cultured and refined. So actually, this is the dreamy McDream boat of the... <laughs> This is the dreamy McDream bo dream boat of the of the deck. And um I mean, he can be a bit of a clown as well, right? Um but that's part of his charms. Um uh, Yeah, I definitely feel like probably in his past he was a bit of a Casanova, a ladies man. So he's like an aging ladies man regardless of his age right he is reaching a point where he's done with that he's just got to wrap up some loose ends and he is coming into his king of cups energy which is um, somebody that's still very romantic but and also very deeply emotional um, but more like using his romantic tendencies and his emotionality to acquire and commit to a romantic relationship now this is somebody that can be jealous as well a very deep individual um, but good at um, good at hiding that. If he has any flaws, it's that he needs to be more open and more trusting, which you know that comes with time. Okay, so and it's somebody that really honors and respects devotion. So with it coming out as the. Uh, the outcome I really feel like if you're still in a relationship with this person with the eight of cups at the back of the deck that you guys are going to move away from confusion and it's going to come into um, a more solid commitment there is a deepening of commitment and devotion to one another with this card now this is somebody that does require a lot of admiration you know um, loves to feel desired need you to appreciate him and the things he does I'm just gonna say him because it's an easier pronoun for me And it's like the more devoted you are to him, the more devoted he's going to be to you. So I guess that's some more advice that can come, um, you know, to you. So Spirit is saying, like, if you want this outcome, which is a very beautiful outcome, then be devoted to this person. And if you are, keep it up. This person is um, leaving something behind to have this new beginning with you. Perfect timing with that. Ace of Cups. An emotional new beginning with you. Leaving something behind. So whether that is... Um, Leaving behind the past, like if you guys have had a rocky past, then you guys are about to experience a renewal in the connection. This person sees you as the light at the end of the tunnel. A wish, like you're a wish come true to this person. Um, if this person, you know, hasn't been able to be with you or you haven't been able to be with them because of whatever circumstances, those circumstances don't matter. There is a deepening of love occurring in this connection in the future. So your outcome is really bright here. So you're getting that emotional new beginning, a new loving cycle in this connection. Just attend to the practical details of life. Get that ground fertilized for um, the planting of this relationship seed. That means, you know, crossing, crossing your T's, dotting your I's, especially with regard to financial or practical matters. But um, mostly this is, <laughs> this is a really beautiful reading as well. So there is renewal, hope, and clarity coming to this connection. And you guys will be in a happy relationship with your person for sure. Now I wanted to look at the other cards here yeah the only thing I was drawn to on this card was um the image and so your person could I don't know if your person looks like Sigmund Freud or looks like the lady on the, on the couch or um if this person is a therapist could be with that king of cups uh, maybe a natural therapist doesn't need necessarily have to have that job title but just could be the type of person that people feel safe opening up to and gives really good advice who can hold space 
um, maybe a person wears glasses or smokes a cigar, wears suits, anything um, you know that you intuitively get from this image is a message for you. But mostly, I'm getting there's like um, some sort of an age or uh, readiness difference between the two of you for whatever reasons, whether that's regarding like emotional re readiness, financial readiness, or otherwise. Um, and then, so this is like also the need for somebody to feel more trusting because we got this for. I feel like it's probably been both of you guys needing to come to the edge and open up to one another. So it's like, you know, your happiness and the depth of your happiness, you have enormous potential for being very emotionally satisfied and fulfilled in this relationship. And for your person to be as well and for you guys to nurture one another and for it to just be really supportive and beautiful and just to have a lot of empathy for one another. And um, it's just like an ideal, long lasting love relationship and romance here. That is what is on the table. Like the ability to tap into that frequency depends on the ability to face your fears about intimacy, to say what you need to say, to allow your partner to say what they need to say. And, um, you know, and, and to be able to open up to one another, okay? For some of you, maybe you need to continue therapy um, in order to prepare for this person or vice versa um, or get into it. But this is this energy of, um, you know, having to have the courage to take a leap of faith on this connection and to continue to have the courage to do that throughout the connection. Um, And then that is what you will get, like the fullness of your desire, because there's a huge potential here. And then we've got the uh, Island Time Wellness, sorry, not sorry, okay? Just wondering what that's about. Okay, somebody here has a sarcastic streak. That does go with like the earth energy that I'm seeing over here. Uh, water signs can be sarcastic as well. All of these cards can be. We've also got the Magician, which is Virgo and Gemini. Uh, we've got all the elements represented here. Um, I'm really being drawn to sarcasm for one thing. And also to false apology. Interesting. So what's that about? Is this something that we need to be concerned about, Spirit? Yeah, there could be um, a false apology coming in. Honestly, you guys, I feel like this is your energy. Spirit's coming through with a message for you regardless of your sign or gender. It's saying that you might be or you might have done this, have a tendency to um, say things like sorry, not sorry, and you think you're being cute or funny, or maybe this is your idea of conflict resolution to... Um, to be a little bit sarcastic when you're speaking because we talked about you know communicating and opening up your um your throat chakra and part of opening up your throat chakra is being able to communicate in um, more like your person does because i am really getting that your person is somebody that tries very much to um, negotiate to create win-win situations to be strategic in their relationships in a way where um you know both sides of the the argument can be heard and and your person is like he's like Frick Sigmund Freud, <laughs> okay? And so some of you are more like immature in that regard is what I'm getting. If it doesn't apply, don't take it. But for a lot of you, that is the message coming through that you need to work on your communication skills because you can be a little bit sarcastic or you might even um, get into a conversation where an apology is expected or this might have happened already and you gave a false apology or you were just like, yeah, sorry, not sorry, like brushed it off like, I'm just who I am and you deal with it, yada, yada, yada. So there's some sort of immaturity here with regard to communication, whether it's specifically that example or something else that um, needs to be developed past, okay? So um, that's what I'm getting with that. Spirit is saying, you know, it is, it's good to have sort of like a, a youthful energy about you. I mean, you're not being asked to... Uh, act like you're middle age if you're in your 20s, right? Be where you're at. Um, I think part of your charm, especially for your person, is that you are a hopeful person, that there is something about you that is willing to try new things or, um, you know, 
maybe can be a little bit uh, carefree or irreverent but there is a point where you cross the line and it comes across the wrong way and doesn't serve the connection so this is just like something that's coming through so you to, for you to know that that needs to be worked on so let's get um it can be the other way around as well right you guys know that energies can be vice versa let's get advice for group three on this reading please will they be in a happy relationship with their person got beautiful or beauty rather a couple other ones that came out follow your dreams and environmental awareness so spirit is saying yeah follow your dreams but um your advice is to focus on your beauty so i'm going to go ahead and read for the book like i did for the other groups um i'll sum it up real quick in case you don't want to listen to me read basically it's essentially just saying that amplify your natural attractiveness you're most beautiful when you're happy and you're loving yourself so um they're just saying like there is something about you so never ever think about yourself in a negative way don't talk about yourself in a negative way this is the advice you're being given and also if you've been wanting to try a new look a new hairstyle if you've been wanting to get um a facial or you know whatever to uh, affect your to help you feel better about your physical appearance you're being guided to do that okay but also to know let it come from a place not of lack that i'm not good enough or that i have to change in order to be attractive enough for this person that's not what they're saying they're saying that you need to feel good about yourself from the inside out and that will benefit the relationship as a whole because your person reflects back you know your feelings about yourself right everybody does that so breaking free is not what we're looking for where are we at beauty here we go so it says appreciate and amplify your natural attractiveness your beauty is most apparent when you're happy and satisfied we are all attractive in our own unique way part of self-esteem is appreciating how wonderful you truly are Never ever put yourself down in any way. Always think self-loving thoughts about your body, your face, your hair, your weight, every inch of your physical self. Tell yourself positive affirmations daily, such as my inner light radiates through every pore and cell of my body and everyone is attracted to my inner and outer beauty. Invest time and money and services that make you feel wonderful, such as massages, facials, manicures, pedicures, soaking in a tub, or getting a new hairstyle. Spend time in a meaningful way that makes you feel joyful and you will glow with the attractiveness of a truly happy person. So an affirmation you can say, and guys, you should be saying affirmations every day any way they really work, is my inner and outer selves are radiantly attractive right now. I love my beautiful self. Yeah, because so, sometimes um, in the Page of Pentacles, you know, is a card of somebody that's usually very, very attractive, but doesn't realize it, kind of like that Marilyn energy where she was really, really beautiful, still to this day considered one of the most beautiful women that ever lived, but yet very insecure. So um, Spirit is saying, you don't have to be that terribly insecure. Also people who are sarcastic um, or insincere um, do that out of a sense of like deep insecurity, right? Uh, it, it's a form of um, negative communication. And there's a place for it right? If you're Chandler from Friends and you're just being like sarcastic in a harmless way, that's different. But this is talking about it being a potential problem. So they're saying, you know, don't, uh, it's like basically allow yourself to grow up from that, turn over a new leaf with regard to that. And how can you do that? What would be a good way to do that? Work on your self-concept. So there are um, videos on YouTube, many different wonderful channels that offer self-concept uh, meditations and affirmations that you can listen to throughout the day and say in order to improve that self-concept and really just accept that you are a beautiful person. The more you love yourself and treat yourself good, the um, better of an outcome you're gonna have with this person. Your outcome looks really good. It has a lot of potential to be an extremely romantic, loving, and just like a pretty fantastic relationship in the future, you know, so it's really up to you um to what extent you get to experience this um beautiful new beginning with your person okay group three so thanks for tuning in if this is your reading please let me know in the comment section i'd love to read it and um do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribing is free to, and it does support the channel i appreciate you um there will be no extendeds this week but if you'd like a private reading you can contact me at love the oracle dragon at gmail.com to get a private reading Otherwise, thanks to everybody who uh, has tuned in and just supports the channel. I love you guys, and I will talk to you next time.